Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, hi, I'm Lola. And today I'm gonna to show you how I got this cute, coppery, I don't even know what to call it, I, but I'll figure it out and it will be in the title. But I hope you guys like this look. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe. <music> Say I take you to Tokyo, girl I go take you to China, girl I go take you to London. I'm gonna start off with Estee Lauder's Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer in 6N, deep, well extra deep, and it looks like this. I like to use this as a colour corrector in the areas that like I have like any blemishes or like hyperpigmentation that I want to get rid of. So I'm just gonna pop that. So as you can see, it has like a reddish undertone to it. Put a little underneath my eyes as well. Taking my damp beauty blender, I'm just gonna blend that into the skin. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation and that's the Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation by Smashbox. It's gonna take like a couple of pumps I like me a full coverage foundation. Now I'm gonna go in with my concealer and I'm using the Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amande by NARS. This one's nearly finished, I really need to get a new one. So I'm putting it underneath my eyes. Oh, apparently on my nose too. Down the bridge of my nose, my upper lip, and that's it for today. While I let my concealer sit for a few minutes, I'm gonna go in with this Liquid Gold by Nip and Fab. I've really been enjoying using this. Just take a little bit onto my hand, take a brush, Okay, leave it like that for a second. Blend out my concealer using the clean up side. Now that that's all blended out, I'm gonna go in again with the liquid highlight and just pop it on top again. Give a nice glow from within. Now for the fun part. Let's set our face. So today I'm using my Beauty Bakery. I'm gonna take my L'Oreal face powder and just dust that all over my face. Okay, let's get started on the eyes. Now I'm going in with MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW55. And I'm just taking that with my brush and I'm putting that in the crease. And then bringing it down the bridge of my nose as a nose contour. I'm gonna do the same with the other eye. Using the same brush, I'm going to go inside the palette and go into the colour Blazing. And once again, put that into my crease. It's more of an orangey colour. I want it to be very orange. I want them to be able to see in Mars. <coughs> I'm going to take this small 217 brush. And I'm going to go in with the colour Saffron, which is this one, where is it, that one there. And I'm going to go right underneath that and focus it on the outer corner 
and the inner corner. Then I'm going to go back in with the orange colour blazing. Just blend those two together. Whew, blending takes forever, mate. Now, using a petite eye blender brush 223 from Zoeva, looks like that. This one. I'm gonna go in with the colour Oud, which is this one. And I'm gonna go in as a corner. In the corner center. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with the pu the purpley red, this color, saffron. Just to blend up the harsh lines. Okay, so everything's blended to my satisfaction. So now I'm gonna go in with my Smashbox. Photo finish lip primer and a brush. You want something that's flat and round? I'm gonna coat my brush in it, then I'm gonna carve the middle out. Okay, taking this brush, I'm gonna go in with the orange. Tap it on the edges. Then I'm going to get in with a saffron reddish colour. With this one, take in those two browny purple colours also just to blend everything together. I'm not actually quite sure what colour I want to use in the centre, but I think let's go with this one. I haven't actually used the colour like that in a while. Actually, have I? Guys, I'm so indecisive. Approximately 10 hours later. Let's use Blood Moon. So we're going to go in with Blood Moon. That one. I'm just going to take the same brush that I used with the primer. Just pack it on in the centre. So I'm going to go in with Celestial just to pop on top of that, this kind of like gold two-tone shimmery colour. Take it the same brush. Okay, I'm going to take Saffron on my bottom lash line. Okay, I'm going to take Blazing just to smoke that out. Okay guys, so as you can tell, I've got my eyeliner on, my lashes on, and I have some mascara on too. So the eyeliner I, I used was the Ico eyeliner. And it's the waterproof one. And my lashes are... Lily Lashes in the um, style Layla and my mascara, I can't remember but it's probably the Too Faced one because that's the one I really always use all the time. Anyway, so most of my face is done. I tend to not like to do um, cream contour lately because I feel like it's a team too much. So I am going to go in with a brush and the powder that I showed you guys earlier, the NW55 MAC Studio Fix is what I like to bronze up my skin slash contour with and I just take it on this really big brush and I just stipple it all over my face. Just gives me a nice bronzy kind of finish. Bring it down to my neck. And there we go. Ooh. So now I'm gonna go in with my blush and highlight. 
Today we're gonna keep it in the family and we're gonna use the Huda Beauty 3D um, dimensional, three dimensional highlighter palette. Looks like that. Okay, so I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna go in with Fiji first. This one right here. This is a cream. Just putting it in the usual places. Then using the same brush, I'm gonna go in with Tahiti, this one down here, just to layer it and set the cream one that we used a second ago. Wow, this one is blinding. Okay, again, with my sponge, I'm gonna just... Now I'm gonna take some blush, and today I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio in Berry Amore. And it looks like this. I'm just gonna mix this two together. I might just mix all three of them actually. Time for the lips. And what lips am I gonna go for today? It's a hard one. I think I'm gonna go for a nude. Not really feeling it, so I'm going to add a little bit of another lipstick. I'm going to add some Bittersweet by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Yeah. Yeah. I like this one better. Okay, so I think we have finished this look gonna put some more of my all-nighter setting spray let that sink into the skin and I will be right back okay guys so this is the final look I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this coppery kind of something something it's just cute it's just a cute look and I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing me use some new products that I haven't used on my channel before. If there's anything out there that you want to see me review or want to see me create a look on, or if there's any colours that you want me to use specifically in this Huda Beauty palette, I would be down to do it. So just leave a comment down below and, and I will see what I can do. Um, also guys, don't forget to like this video if you liked it. And also subscribe and press that bell so that you can see all my future uploads. I am going to be trying to be a little bit more consistent. And um, if you guys do want to keep up to date with what I'm doing and what's going on in my life, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll probably pop it up here so that you guys can, you know, know my handles and stuff. Um... I think that's it. So I hope you guys have a lovely day, lovely week, lovely month, and I will see you guys in my next one. Take care. Bye.